Well, this sucks, people. We have a dilemma. We have water in our basement from a lot of flooding. We had a really bad storm here in our town, and uh, that's why I keep all the inventory back this way. <laughs> and then everything goes in totes down here because. This is the first time it's ever flooded like this before, but this is pretty bad. Um, we got the sump pump running now, so it should, hopefully, um, yeah, that'll be fine. It'll, it'll be fine. I don't have it listed on eBay. It's just listed on Marketplace. And I thought about using it maybe here in the store anyways, but all of this stuff here <laughs> is a goner that... There's a box over there that's kind of a goner and some of them cardboard pieces that ain't going to be good anymore but for the most part it's okay that trump pump's taking it down pretty quick and um this sucks this sucks a bunch let's go on and pull up these let's pick up these the things you're standing on and we're going to lean them up like here against the thing here so up against the trash can <laughs> sorry people i'm a little uh discombobulated i don't like to see my basement flooded at the store uh we our town is like underwater it's been really bad we had some really heavy storms come through last night and it's been absolutely horrible I haven't even been to bed yet it's like six seven in the morning and uh yeah it's been bad but we're gonna go over here and once this water gets down we'll go over there and we'll just start picking up some of the stuff that's floated but we don't want to get our feet wet because this let the sump pump do its job and we can get a push broom and push a lot of this water off over there into the sump pump that dehumidifier is going to earn its paycheck today okay so it might not look like we've made much progress but we've got a fan on the situation and all the water now has slowly drained out so that is good it's still going to be pretty moist down here but we do have a dehumidifier going and we have a fan going so it should be pretty good the rain's pretty much over so that was our excitement i get to be up for i'm probably gonna go home take a little nap and then try to stay up and go to bed tonight so yeah it's like 7 a.m 8 a.m i don't know uh looks like we did lose some boxes here water got up in there so probably have lost all those boxes but uh better than losing inventory I can replace boxes never cross high water people Okay guys, as you can see, almost all the water is gone. I've still got a little puddle like right here. And I've got this wonderful crusty fan. And I've got that little spot right there. Pretty much everything is going to be dry now for the most part. Um, but we did sell like four items on eBay today. It was really slow, super slow, right? We went yard selling today. and uh, But this is the stuff that we sold here. We sold a Jesse Winchester CD, probably not much. I think it sold for like nine bucks. Yep. Plus shipping. Plus shipping on top. Then we sold a hat, a painter's hat, and it was like what? Nine fifty six. Oh, we're shipping. up to we're up to twenty bucks. I'm gonna put it right here on the screen so you guys can keep track of this massive amount of money that we're making today. Uh, we sold the big old puppy dog, like the Hush puppy dog. I think he was thirty five, wasn't he? Plus Woo! We're getting rich. We're up to like what 35 45 55 bucks and then we sold the piggy how much did he sell for 17.24 oh my gosh will we break a hundred plus shipping plus shipping and then we've got the movie where do we sell that movie at macari macari yay we sold something on macari that's cool i love selling stuff on other platforms uh how much did it sell for it wasn't much it was like 
eight bucks shipped or something like that. It wasn't much at all. This is everything that we sold today, so the sales sucked. This was a sucky sales day, but at least I got a beautiful wife. Okay, guys, this is everything that I got outsourcing today. Um, I got this awesome big swag light. That's pretty cool. And then I got these Mego figures from Walmart. And they are the Fly and Wolfman, which is super cool. Uh, the packaging on them are garbage. But I'm going to, they were two packs. I'm going to break them apart and sell them individually. So that's the Fly. And then... This is my favorite. One of these might make its way into my personal collection. And this is Wolfman. And I paid 20 bucks. And I got one, two, and there's like three. So I paid 60 bucks total. And I've got these awesome Mego hunt, or, uh, Werewolf and the Fly. Super cool. I love them. I ended up with this Ajax. It's the uh, Legend series, The Eternals by Marvel. That was a pretty good movie. I liked it. A lot of people didn't, but I thought it was pretty good. I picked up two of these for six bucks a piece. That's pretty awesome. I ended up with this Jean-Luc Picard. It was a Star Trek figure. It's a Locu Locutus of Borg. It's an 8-inch Mego figure, similar to the other Migos that I had. Absolutely love it. I paid seven bucks for this, and it was originally $15.88. That was a Walmart clearance pickup i did score some funko pop protectors i've got some pops that i need to put in protective packs uh, this is a five pack i paid 8.88 at walmart didn't get a deal on it but still i needed them so i bought them i scored this box of vcr tapes had a couple of uh, tapes in here that i wanted i wanted the sister street fighter i wanted this avengers i thought that was kind of cool um the original avengers not the marvel avengers and then I got Meatballs 4, which is a really good movie. I, I ended up with this uh, Samurai Sword. It's kind of cool. Uh, I didn't pay much for it. I wanted to say I paid like 8 or 9 bucks for it at auction. It's blade needs a little bit of work. But it's pretty good shape. I'll put that in the store. I picked up this box of Magic the Gathering cards. I paid 5 bucks for it. These are all rares. I'm guessing the rest of these are just commons and uncommons. Some cards in there. There's actually a multi-sided dice in here that I picked up. I love this. Pretty cool. And I got it all for five bucks. I ended up buying this McCullough chainsaw. I want to say I paid like 11 bucks for it. Didn't pay much for it. It's got good compression. And I'm going to sell it for parts. The last one that I sold for parts, I got like 30 bucks for it. Um, if I can actually get this one running... It'll sell for a lot more. Okay, guys, I ended up with this VCR. It's a stereo VCR, so I bought it because I can put it in my store. I sell VCRs for about 20 bucks. They sell pretty good. I've got this Asus laptop. It's a, um, it needs a power cord, but it does have a Pentium processor. Don't know how old it is. I paid, I want to say like four or five bucks for it. I'll probably end up selling it for parts on eBay. Um, I'm going to show you this, but it'll be just a second. I ended up getting a Super Mario Bros. 2 3DS. I got a fishing reel. I got a bunch of uh, Nancy Drew books here. There are like two stacks of them here. I can't remember how many are total. DVDs on the bottom. Another car. I got this Mustang Shelby for my wife because she likes Shelby Mustangs. Or Mustang Cobra. I'll set that to the side. And then I ended up with this really cool handmade knife. Kind of cool. I like that quite a bit. Uh, it's got a good wood handle. So, pretty awesome. I think this is pretty cool. <laughs> I didn't know it was a real snake. But apparently there is a real snake in this bottle. And um, it came in this box here. I don't know what any of that language says, but it probably says uh, don't mess around with the snake because it's it's pretty mean looking. That's pretty crazy. What do you guys think about that? That's awesome. I ended up getting the little milking stool, the little footstool. I paid a buck for it. That's awesome. I ended up buying this whole tape full of music, um, cassette tapes and whatnot. 
I paid five dollars for everything that you see in here picked up another box of VCR tapes it had the Terminator and Terminator 2 Red Dawn Black Dog were some of them Unforgiven Tombstone the quick and the dead some pretty good stuff in here um, not worth a lot but I still like it I ended up with this 1980s big wheel absolutely love it it's got some work done to it somebody put some screws in the front tire and uh, love it it's gonna go up on the high wall in the store and I'm gonna try to find a back to go to it on eBay so it'll be complete should be yellow and that is freaking awesome absolutely love it I rode one just like this on the streets in this town i ended up with this salvador dolly it's a single stitch t-shirt it's the salvador dolly museum it is pretty awesome it's from saint petersburg how cool is that anvil nice anvil tag vintage i paid five bucks for it that's worth a lot more than five bucks this is a rolling stone shirt that i scored at the um auction i wouldn't say scored this was actually a bad buy it's not a 1981 as they made it out to be it's actually got some staining on the back of it and uh it's a repop this shirt sells for about 25 bucks on the websites and i or 25 bucks and i paid 25 bucks for it used with stains thinking it was original and it wasn't but you win some you lose some this this is a camp crystal lake t-shirt not uh old i do like the artwork on it looks pretty sweet um freddie and jason swimming at camp crystal lake dead person in a boat in the background i paid five bucks for this love it i think i can get about 14 dollars for it out of my store definitely probably didn't pay the appropriate price for this shirt i paid five bucks for it it's rick flair styling and profiling that's a great shirt um i paid five bucks for it i think it's probably worth about 10 in my store uh i just couldn't leave rick flair behind he told me that i had to go Woo! this is the mountain shirt these are super cool i love this it's a fay fairy um paid two bucks for it it is probably uh it is a double stitch it's not single but it's from 2005 so that is like what 17 years old now holy crap maybe not quite that old like what 13 i don't know my math sucks let me know down below this is a sweet gary allen concert t-shirt size medium uh get off on the pain shirt it's a concert double-sided got a nice big splash here on the back all the cool places that he went to this is a bitten bridle it's a western shirt it's got this wonderful horses on the front of it with lightning it is a single stitch it's newer because you can tell because it doesn't have the tag on it and um it's got the same awesome thing on the back it's kind of dirty but i'm gonna take all these shirts home to be laundered we've got a size medium jason aldean here it's a concert t-shirt super cool um like jason aldean good american country singer paid a dollar for it at a yard sale got this really cool george Strait, uh the king this is what i'm talking about having a tag size medium gildan t-shirt was a concert i don't know what year this was but um, i love it a little cracked love the look of it george Strait is absolutely the king got an absolutely fire single stitch uh barrel racing shirt here it is by hazelwood that's old that's definitely a 90 shirt single stitch love it fire here's another single stitch uh horse shirt all over print it's got the horse on the sleeves got the tag here made by cmj sportswear this is a size large print carries over to the back that's awesome these are the kind of shirts that you want to pick up when you're out and about this stuff will sell really quick this is one of my best finds of the day if you're into tennis shoes you will see that these are the lebron james um, they got that nice rainbow pattern on the bottom uh, they've got these awesome shoelace uh, what are savers or whatever they are right there they're clean inside and i paid a whopping 15 dollars for them these are worth 10 times what i paid for them i'll probably list them up if the comps hold true um, they should sell for about 150 bucks picked up this awesome special forces shirt it is got this great print on the back of it i don't know what that says but you can look it up 
the quiet professionals how awesome is that love that shirt that'll probably go on ebay here is another pair of shoes that i scored today um they say be true inside of them they are beautiful nike air max i paid 15 bucks for them these are great pickups absolutely love this stuff scored this awesome blink 182 shirt great looking shirt still got the tag on it right there great looking shirt nice print not all broke up size medium paid a buck there's something about these hunting shirts when i see them i gotta pick them up there's something about that deer it's awesome i think other people will like it i paid a dollar for it so that's not too bad i've got this really cool native american dream catcher shirt got my beautiful wife and uh i paid a whole dollar for this i love that size medium here is another fire single stitch absolutely awesome got the dalmatian got the clydesdales and the little kid this is a harlequin t-shirt size large love that uh gray wash on it it's only one-sided but it's super cool paid i want to say i paid a buck paid a dollar from jan thank you jan i'll take it okay this is probably one of my favorite shirts that i found today something about it i just love it's got the space scene up here desert with some yotes howling at the old crescent moon it's got the stars and the shooting stars it's a single stitch so that's pretty awesome and uh it's got single stitch there it's got the nice ringer neck tag is missing probably a size large how old is a single stitch shirt how old you remember me telling you years wise it's in the most of these are in the 90s 80s 90s and back so yeah if you see a single stitch like this instead of a double stitch like i'll show you on my shirt here's a double stitch if you pause it you might be able to see it but there's two stitches there's a stitch there and there's a stitch there and on this one you can see really clear there's only a single stitch so that's the difference and that's how you can tell if it's older most of the time this is a nice gray jerseys it is a double stitch you can kind of see there from the last clip i showed you guys what a single stitch looks like this is dixie outfitters um i picked it up because it was a dixie outfighter outfitters firefighter shirt uh fr proud the strong and the brave i like that pretty cool not a big fan of the rebel flag but hey you know what some people are i like it and we're gonna send it on down the road that'll be on ebay I ended up scoring this whole case for a dollar. There's some Travis, some Tucker. We've got the Beach Boys. We've got uh, the Little River Band, Reba, some more Reba, Alabama, some Garth Brooks, all kinds of really stuff, really good stuff in here. And then there's this one weird wild cherry. I always thought that was the weirdest uh, cover whenever I was a little boy. I'd seen that record. I was like, well, why? And now that I'm older, I completely understand why. I get it now. I get it. We snuck by Goodwill today and I picked up this catcher's mitt. It is a Mark Wart. I've never heard of it before, but oh, look at there. There's a Michelangelo hiding out. Hey, how you doing, buddy? You want some pizza? Um, I paid $2.54 for it. It's a nice glove. I love catcher's mitts. You figure everyone on the field is using a certain type of glove, but only one person on the field uses a catcher's mitt. So I always buy these because they sell really well. And then we got Mikey here. I'm not sure if he's an original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but he's missing his belt and he's missing his nunchuckas. Nunchuckas. Hey, million dollar question. What weapon does Leonardo use? He's the blue one. Yep. Doesn't he have like a katana or like a sword? I, I think you're 100% yeah. right there. So I ended up with this bike seat. This is for the big butts. That's for... I'm going to get in trouble. That's for the big butts. And the older you get, the more important that, side, that seat is. I wonder if I could get it to fit on one of my BMX bikes. Paid, I want to say like three bucks for it something this size should probably sell on ebay i bet you i can get 30 or 40 dollars out of that okay we're just going to do this real quick i picked up a couple more ball gloves if you notice i do a lot of ball gloves i picked these two up at yard sales for three bucks a piece i picked up this butt basket that's what the lady told me it was called i liked it i paid three dollars for it and then i got these two globes here and they're for your thimbles you set your thimbles down on there they're made of glass 
and uh that's for your thimble collections and i paid I actually got a really good deal two bucks a piece for those that's actually a really good deal i think that i can sell those and make good money on them i'll do something with them they won't be sold as thimble holders but i'll put something in there and the last item that i got here is some more vcr tapes and i got these because there were some martial arts tapes in here and i'm absolutely a big fan of the karate and i put them in my store because other people are fans of the karate um so yeah i don't know i didn't even i bought them for two bucks not a bad deal uh, this is everything that we got except for the dolly i almost forgot that dolly we were just talking about it i've wanted one of these for a while and um it's a dolly that converts from a you can convert it into a cart or you can use it as a dolly that handle slides out and it's super cool i paid like 12 bucks for that that i'm so excited for